One of my favorite players from the LSU 2019-2020 football season was LSU running back Clyde edwards Hilaire, who wore number 22 throughout the season. And I just enjoy watching his balance uh, power, you know, the speed that he does have, his ability to make people miss. He was just a well-rounded running back, and I'm interested to see what he does in the NFL. So, of course, I couldn't do a national championship analysis without at least mentioning what he did in this game. And I want to round this out and show you that in this particular video. So Clyde Edwards Hilaire had 12 total touches through the first three quarters of the national championship game. He ended with 23. So obviously his fourth quarter, he had 11. The LSU run game typically played the supporting role throughout the season anyway, but Clyde Edwards Hilaire usually gets involved with the passing game. Clemson's primarily dime package played a big part in quieting his reception game early on because they usually had Kendall Simmons on here or some other secondary member who can keep up with him fairly well and he didn't get open that much in the beginning. But you would expect the rushing game to benefit as a result of that and it really didn't. The Clemson blitz scheme early seemed to have dissuaded LSU from running by the way they plugged up the interior gaps with their, their A and B gap blitzes from the linebackers and DB like players who were in that position. And they did that pretty well. And this obviously has a weakness, which you will see in one of the first plays I'm going to show you, you know, as this is kind of playing along that you're able to take the edge. If you're able to get the edge, the running back can usually pull off a big gain if he's able to make a guy miss. And Clyde edwards hilaire story could do that um, later on, and he did it here and there at the beginning of the game. So with that said, as I said before, Clyde got 11 touches in the fourth quarter alone. And he basically, he helped LSU close out the Clemson Tigers, which is very fitting for this team as they've done all year. Clyde Edward Hilaire would help close out the team in the rushing game as a total in their supporting role. He did it against Alabama. He did it against, you know, Auburn, Mississippi State. Like, he was able to get touches, and you can see his footprint all over these games. So, they basically, they wore down, when they were wore down, Clemson was, Clyde was there to take advantage. And he somehow ended the game with 16 carries, for 110 yards, and I think that's fitting. A quiet 100-yard game for the guy who's a massive part of their success but didn't get much of the fanfare this year. He got a little bit here and there. So I wanted to make this video because Clyde edwards Lair didn't get much publicity after the game at all, and I want to show you where he showed up in this game. And with that, this will conclude my 2020 National Championship analysis. It turned out to be a 10-part series, so please check out the entire playlist if you can. Um, thanks for watching, and please feel free to leave ideas for off-season content. And while you're here, go ahead and subscribe. Check out the Discord channel, Patreon. I love the support in any kind, but I'm looking forward to see what you say in the comments, and let's get ready for the 2020-2021 season. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.